with nine interceptions. It's the Eagles and the Bears, and it's all up next on EA Sports. Now the good news is that the winds aren't as violent as they were yesterday in Chicago, but it's still pretty darn cold to be expected, I guess, for December football at Soldier Field. Today, we reach week 15, and we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Eagles. They're the best team in the NFL as far as running the football goes, but they're in for a stern test here. Yeah, that defense that they're going up against, they're no slouch either. One of the top five units in the league. I think this game could boil down to stopping the big play. This offense can certainly hit some home runs, and if they hit out a couple here, it might be all they need to win the game. Jake Elliott ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. The Chicago's offense running out and something they hope to see for years and years to come. Second year pro Justin Fields leading the way. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's coming at a perfect time of the year for them, isn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down. Got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. Now Fields going to throw on the first play. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. First carry now for David Montgomery. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and three. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he will have a first down as they get into the ground at the 37. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Fields tapping it forward. Jet sweep. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Taken down back to the 34-yard line. Now on second and 13, Fields. And again, back to Komet. They'll go for a gain of seven. And now third down and six to go. Now it's Fields. This will complete to Scott Miller. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They are such a talented team in defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Field's going to keep it once more. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys will take over at their own 34-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. 
ended up throwing one interception, didn't have a touchdown to offset it, but the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 44. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. He's got it with the 15. A big play there for Philly. 46 yards. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Hurts ahead off to Sanders. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Throwing his hurts. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. From the gun, it's hurts. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're up third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion to bring up fourth down. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Eagles take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. That time a six-play drive, and in the end it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you can get away from it for a few days, put down the playbook, you know, turn off the film, just be you, enjoy that time away, and then you come back ready to go. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Fields on target to Moody, first down Chicago. Fields. Complete. Took a shot, couldn't get in. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Off the option, here's Montgomery. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Fields. He rifles one that's intercepted. Interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. 
Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll just take a seat in the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor there. But thank you, Dr. Davis. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 45 yards rushing for him now, and he's carrying the ball just five times. When they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football, I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. And second and ten coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Fields now to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And now the kick short, but this is a live football picked up in the end zone. And he will be taken down here. That's certainly not how you draw it up. And a clever idea, I guess, to try to return the missed field goal, but it's going to wind up costing him yardage. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader. And quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing. And let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real. And it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. He's got a man complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. Down to the 22-yard line. This defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. As they've got it with a third down coming up. Hurt sets up to throw it. 
And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Sanders. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Sanders again, and he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles take a three-touchdown lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league. But this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it? In order to try to mount a comeback. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now 21 to nothing. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Bears offense making their way out as we give you a look at the playoff race in the NFC. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and they don't score. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Another return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense, that's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there. Well, he's within shouting distance of a 1,000-yard season. Going to need a pretty good finish, though, if he wants to reach that mark. Well, I like how you phrased it, partner. He is within shouting distance. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. But he needs a big game in there, right, to make sure that he gets it. So you know that during the week, in practice, and, and look, he asked for the ball all the time anyway. He's really going to ask for the ball and let his quarterback know he's over. Second down, back to Sanders. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith, 28 yards. And the Eagles continue to pull away here in this first half. Well, you talk about a team coming into an opposing stadium and just taking the life right out of a crowd. That's what we're witnessing here. 27 nothing, Charles. And this defense, they just look completely unprepared for what's been thrown at them. And you know they're supposed to adjust series to series. That has not happened for them, so I don't think halftime adjustments are going to help a heck of a lot. They are in major trouble unless they figure out something really fast. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. David Montgomery ready to take the field for the Bears' next possession. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, 
you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen, put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Back to Montgomery on second down. Here he goes, right side. 30, 10, 5, touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bears get a bit closer. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row. We're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, you're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. It's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they've broken it. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. Santos with the extra point. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Wide receiver A.J. Brown. You see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. He's the star wide receiver, and he's doing his thing so far here into the second quarter. And how you get distinguished as a star is each and every week performing to a high level no matter what they throw at you because you're always wanting to take him out of the game if you're a defense. He's got a man complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Jalen Hurts, not a terribly big fella at 6'1", but his arm's got plenty of life to it. And that was a thing of beauty there. And this is more of the same right here. These guys have definitely been the aggressors here in the first half. They pushed the envelope in terms of play calls, and that's reflected in the score. And now they're in a position to widen this lead. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. They'll run with Sanders. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A three-yard touchdown pass. And his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Elliott good on the extra point. And the round is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And yeah, they'll begin at the 25. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. And he's sure looking like a lock for a thousand yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he'd probably like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he doesn't, as you noted, there's still time, still opportunity. There's still more games to be played. So yeah, it's not a lock. The barring injury, it certainly looks like he's going to get there. And what an accomplishment that is. Anytime you get over 1,000 yards, you're celebrated in the NFL. It's been quite a season. Still a couple chapters left in that book, though. Gets this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. And he'll be out right at the 35. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. From 
the gun. It's a give to Montgomery. And taken down just shy of the 40. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Back to throw. Fields. And that is incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Jordan Berry out to put on fourth down. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but his shredding defense is getting big yardage with each and every one now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Got his man, it's our single white side. And he is gonna have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've gotta start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. We had the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He's got his target. That's Zach Paschal. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Well, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And Pascal's got it. Touchdown! Zach Pascal in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score.
That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Elliott on for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So that one along an 11 play drive. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. That second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And now in timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And now this ball picked up in the end zone. Remember, this is a live ball. And fortunately here for them, he's going to be taken down before he can gather much momentum on the run back. So no fireworks on the final field goal attempt, and that'll do it for this first half. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Taken in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The final four weeks of the NFL season are upon us, and we got some intriguing matchups in prime time tonight. Patriots and Raiders, that's in Vegas. Josh McDaniels taking on his former employer there. And then Monday Night Football, the Rams and Packers from what should be a frosty Lambeau field at 8.15 Eastern time, 7.15 locally there in Green Bay. They go play action with Hertz. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 61 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Towards the end zone for Brown. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. From the 25, here's second and six. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Holding offense. Well, they were looking to throw. Holding on the big right tack. Still second down. Still simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should got to pick up a holding call. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. 
And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have taken a six-touchdown lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. even larger here in the third quarter. So that drive goes eight plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Fields. Buying time to his left. And this one too low. I'm sure there was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. On second down, Montgomery. Oh, he's got some breathing room. becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game. And I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards and oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. Santos able to tank on the extra point. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Still well in control of this ball game, despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. And some space here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there at 22. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now back to throw. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Now Sanders. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing his hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more bounced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play. And now the young man has it. It's a fake. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And that will force a turnover on downs. Yeah. 
First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Out of the gun, Fields. Man open, that's Byron Pringle complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of 40. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. From the gun, here's Fields. That's complete to Mooney. So no gain on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's got a roll. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On first down, Hurts. And it's knocked away and incomplete. We're glad you're with us from Soldier Field in Chicago. Third quarter here, second and ten. They'll run with Sanders. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 14. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Forced out to his left. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles are pouring it on. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time, he had the speed to win that race. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Five plays there on that drive. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchdown. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Fields on third down. He'll get that complete to his tight end connect. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Fields to connect there for a Chicago first. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. 
a three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven at their 48-yard line. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. A one-yard gain brings up third and six. From the 50, here's Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play call sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Touchdown, Chicago! Cole Kamara, 41 yards! And the Bears are able to eat in just a bit to this size of the deficit. Santos with the extra point. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Taking in at the three. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Eagles. So it's been a back and forth game. A lot of points on the board. And that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it. And as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming. And that often is the case when it comes to special teams. Elliott now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Fields. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and two. To throw his fields. Open that is Miller, he's got it. And he goes out of bounds, it looks like right at the 50. A gain of six. That's good for a Chicago Bears. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And throwing again is Fields. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. And you could say that is just another cherry on top for this defense and that entire team. But really, this defense has sparked what's been an impressive effort here in this one. And I notice you used the word sparked because you're not seeing that on the other side of the ball, are you? The offense right now. The spark has left their game, and it's been because of what you described, that defensive pressure. Got a man complete to Miller. And he has another first down, as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. On first down, Fields. Got an open man, it's Pringle. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second 
brings up second and four at the 28 yard line. To throw again on second down. Fields. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Again, Fields targets Miller here on the out route. He's got him. And he will have the Bears first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Here's Fields. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown Bears! Cole Komet, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Bears get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Santos able to tackle the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Fields it right around the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. This offense returns to the field. And the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we're going to look at him. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see him back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Play action. Here's Hertz. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Towards the end zone for Brown. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 53 yards. And the Eagles are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. I'm not sure what other ground there is to cover here. I mean, this offense has been amazing. Just total domination, Charles. They've clicked so well, and if you really focus in on the offensive line, they've protected well when they wanted to throw the ball. They've moved people off the line of scrimmage when they wanted to run it. Smiles all the way around. This offense has been really good in this one. Elliott good with a PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Throwing again on second down. Fields. And again back to Komet. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Fields on first down. 
And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they're ruling incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Second down and ten. To throw again on second down. Fields. Open oh, man is Komet, the tight end. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 29-yard line. First and ten at the 29-yard line. Fields. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. To the air again, Fields. A man and he hits him in stride. And brought down, but not before they get him inside the 10 to the 7. with Montgomery and he's able to get it down to the two yard line it'll be a gain of five there as they move closer it's second and goal just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair so the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back second and goal and they will try again from the two yard line Fields now to throw. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Looking at the late touchdown here, but still down big. Santos with the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Taking in at the three. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. They'll go again with Sanders. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 180 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now a carry for Sanders. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. They have not seen that much today. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. They'll run with Sanders up the middle, and he's brought down at the 24 after a game of four. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Philadelphia, they continue to make their case as a Super Bowl favorite as they move to 13-1. And they'll get another road test next week as they have the big need to take on the Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Chicago, the loss might knock them out of playoff contention as they drop to 